In today's video, we'll be building an easy starter base perfect for any 1.18 world. I'll guide you on how to build this starter base, that way you can build it in your own world. Now before we move on, if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe as it helps me out and you can always unsubscribe later. Also, if you enjoyed the tutorial, make sure to leave a like. Anyways, let's get into a tour of the starter base, that way you can determine if you want to build it or not. Alright, so here's the starter base. We'll go around the outside and then we'll check the inside. So we have some nice foliage on the outside with a flower pot and some shutters. We also have some lighting with these lanterns hanging from the roof. And if we come around the back, we have another flower pot with some more leaves and bushes. And on the last side, we have a nice exposed fireplace that actually links up to the fireplace inside. Now we can go inside and check out the interior. So when we come in, we have a nice entryway with a flower pot on this nice little table and a little lantern. Then if we come through this archway, we're into the main living space with the kitchen and the living room. Now in the living room, we have a nice fireplace with some shelving on the sides and some decorative paintings around here. We also have this area rug and a couch with a nice little decorative table. Now if we move on to the kitchen, we have plenty of storage with five barrels here, two furnaces, which is perfect for a starter base. Then we have some other decorations like an amethyst cluster on this little table and a flower pot on a shelf up here. Now back here in this room is the bedroom where we have a nice bed with an area rug underneath it and a barrel for a bedside table. And it's perfect to store any of your valuables. Then in the corner, we have a little lantern on top of a shelf and a nice blue painting to match the aesthetic of the room. And that's it for the starter base. It's quite small, but it's very nice and it's perfect for any world where you just want a quaint little house to start you off. That way you can get on your adventure and explore your world. Now I'll show you a quick list of the materials and then we'll get on to the tutorial. First, start with stripped dark oak logs and place them in a layout like this. Next, we will take each pillar up to four blocks high, except for the two protruding pillars, which will be taken up to three blocks tall. Now, fill in the gaps between the pillars with oak planks. and leave gaps in these places for your windows and door. Next up, we're building the roof. Take your deep slate bricks and place them in a pattern like this. Now we'll move on to the larger roof and build a pattern like this. For the back windows, make sure you rotate the stairs and add a slab so you get a little overhang. Now we'll fill in the roof with deep slate tiles. Make sure to use deep slate bricks for the top row of the roof. Place a spruce door right here for the front door. Now build a three wide flower bed in front of the two front windows. Next, we'll fill in all the window spots with glass panes. Then we'll scatter a few spruce leaves around the side. On the back side, add another three wide flower pot.
and continue scattering spruce leaves around the rest of the house. Then we'll go around the whole house and add lanterns on fence posts or on the overhang of the roof. Now we'll come over to the right side of the house and start making the fireplace. First, you'll want to take a 3x3 area out of the side of the house. Next, we'll make a pattern out of cobblestone stairs just like this. Add a campfire to the back of the fireplace and then build up the backside. Next, we'll add stairs, slabs, and walls to the outside of the fireplace to make it look a little more natural. You can also add a few spruce leaves and a lantern on there if you want to. Now, coming inside, we'll take the cobblestone fireplace all the way to the roof. Then, break a few blocks in the roof and build up the fireplace so it protrudes from the roof. Make sure to use some slabs and stairs as it'll give it a more natural look. Then, to top it off, we'll add a campfire and four spruce trap doors to make it look like smoke is coming from the chimney. And to finish off the exterior, make sure to use spruce trap doors as shutters for the windows. Now, we're going to build the interior. The first thing we're going to do is remove all this grass, that way we can install a nice wooden flooring. I'm also going to be removing this campfire just for now, that way there's not too much background noise while I'm talking. Then we'll take the spruce planks and fill in the entire floor. First, we'll start off with the entryway. Place some deep slate bricks right here. Then we'll take some spruce stairs, place them here and here, and make an arch by filling it in with trap doors. Next, we'll take our deep slate slabs and place them one block lower than the slab above it. Place a spruce fence in the left corner and place a lantern on top of it. Then place two spruce trap doors like this to make a nice little table. Add a flower pot on top of the trap door and a blue orchid inside for a splash of color. Now we'll work on the roof in the main part of the house. First, take your deep slate tile slabs and place one more slab on this row to give it a nice arch feeling on both sides. Then we'll take our stripped dark oak logs and place them as cross beams where our already existing logs from the frame are. Then take your deep slate tile slabs and place them right here with a spruce fence in the middle. Do this for both cross beams. And to finish off the interior of the roof, we'll add a lantern in the middle of these cross beams. Now we'll start building the bedroom. So if you come over here in between these two windows and one block away from this wall, we'll build a pillar of our stripped dark oak logs. We'll add a cross beam at the third block. Then we'll build up our wall with spruce trap doors. The wall of trap doors should be four blocks high. Then we'll take our deep slate tile slabs and our deep slate brick slabs and fill in the rest of the space. Next, we'll add the door and the small window. Now place a spruce trap door here and an oak trap door up here to give us a nice little window. To start off with the interior of the bedroom, we'll take out six blocks right here in the middle of the room and place six gray wool like this to make a nice area rug. You can also use some gray carpet in a pattern like this to give it a little more depth. Then we'll add a cyan bed in the corner right here and we'll break a few blocks that way we can get underneath here and place an upside down barrel for a bedside table. Then fill the floor back in. We'll add a few candles to the bedside table and a spruce trap door in this top corner and add a lantern on top. Lastly, we'll find the blue painting by making some temporary borders right here until we get the blue painting. And there we go. I like this painting because it matches the aesthetic of the room. And now the bedroom is complete. Now we'll build the kitchen slash storage room. So the first thing you'll want to do is knock out these blocks so we can place upside down barrels for the kitchen counter. Then fill the blocks back in. Then we'll place two furnaces right here with a spruce trap door on the side. Next, we'll add two spruce trap doors up here with two barrels up top to act as upper cabinets. Add an oak trap door right here with a flower pot and a spruce sapling inside of it. Then we'll add four candles right here. And to finish this off, we'll add a nice little side table right here. On top of that, we'll add an amethyst cluster. 
and the kitchen is complete. And to finish off this build, we'll complete the living room. First, we'll start off with the paintings. You'll need some temporary blocks, that way you can place the small paintings. After you add these two paintings, we'll come over here and add a 2x2 two two painting. I like this painting because it matches the warmth of the fireplace when the campfire is in. Now we'll take a 2x2 two two area out right here and add 4 grey wool. Then we'll take our birch slabs and place them right here. We'll add birch trap doors on the outside to make a nice little couch. Now we'll be building the shelves. First we'll place bookshelves at the top and bottom of each slot. Then we'll place a lantern right here with an oak trap door on top of it. And over here we'll place an oak trap door on the bottom block. That way we can place a flower pot with a white tulip inside. Then we'll add spruce trap doors across to act as a mantle. And to finish the fireplace off we'll add a 1 by 2 painting at the top. And now for the last detail we'll add two upside down dark oak stairs right here to act as a little table with a heavy weighted pressure plate on top. And now the build is 100% complete. So if you enjoyed this tutorial or it helped you at all, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to my channel, I'd very much appreciate it if you'd subscribe. I've been your host, Pornominus Rex, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.